is dropping your class the same as withdrawing from your class? So first let me say that this is a question that at the end of the day, you want to go to whatever school you're at and ask someone there to be 100% sure. What I'm going to tell you in this video is just my general knowledge from teaching at different schools and being a student at different schools and just the accepted practice, at least in the US. So here's how it works. So in the US, at most schools, when you sign up for a class, you have what's called the ad drop period. So during that first week or during those first few days, you have the opportunity to drop your class with zero penalty. So when I say that, I mean that you should get your money back for the class. Let's say you paid $450 for this class out of pocket. You should have a time limit, this is called the ad drop period, where you can get out of that class and actually get all of your money back. This is true at pretty much every school I've been to, but again, check with your specific school. After the ad drop period, you only have the option to withdraw usually. When you withdraw, you get a symbol put on your transcript, like a W. My understanding is a transcript is like a legal docu document. Once you get that W on your transcript, it can't actually be erased. Instead, if you retake the course and your college allows some type of grade forgiveness, what they can do is they can put an X next to it or put another symbol next to it to indicate that you retook that course and you're using a new grade for the computation of the GPA or, or grade forgiveness is taking effect. Sometimes you hear stories like, oh, if you transfer, so-and-so school won't honor grade forgiveness. I really can't comment to that. And I really don't think it's that big of a deal. You know, if you have the situation where you fail a class, there's not much you can do at that point. You're kind of like you are where you are and all you can do is take it again and do better next time. So at the end of the day, it's not really something that really needs to be thought about because if you fail, just take it again and do better. So yeah, those are my thoughts. What do you think about dropping and withdrawing? Do you think it's a big deal to drop a class? Do you think it's a big deal to withdraw from a class? Personally, I think that it's okay to have a couple W's as long as you don't have like 20 withdrawals because then someone's gonna look at your transcript and say, whoa, what's going on here? This person's taking calculus twice, they've withdrawn twice. They've taken Calc 2 twice, they've withdrawn twice. You know, that brings up kind of like red flags. But the cool thing about withdrawals, in my opinion, is that nobody really knows why you withdrew. It just says W, right? You could have been sick. You could have gotten a job. You might have had to move. It could be any reason. It doesn't mean that you didn't know the material. It just means that you decided to get out of the course. Withdrawals can have an effect on financial aid. So that's one reason you should always check with your school before you withdraw and all that stuff. So yeah, those are my thoughts. So if you're watching this video and you're wondering between the difference between dropping and withdrawing, now you know. Dropping, you get your money back, doesn't go on your transcript. Withdrawing, you don't get your money back, it goes on your transcript. Neither affect your GPA at the end of the day. Do you have any comments on dropping withdrawing? If so, leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you wanna learn mathematics, I do have courses. They're actually on Udemy, but if you get them, use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. And I've got courses on Cal 1, 2, 3, differential equations, abstract algebra, advanced calculus, etc. As always, keep doing mathematics.